How would you feel if the banks asked you how you want to earn cash back? Hey everyone, it's Mark. I'm here to help you put more money in your pocket through credit cards and smart financial habits. If that sounds good to you, then do me a quick favor and click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also check out the links in the description below to apply for a new credit card and to get four free stocks from Weeble when you open a new account and deposit $100 on your brokerage account. Today we're going to talk about a credit card that allows you to choose where you want to earn cash back. The credit card has no annual fee, it's red in color, and the bank that issues it has three words in its name. Can you guess which one it is? If you can't, then check out the thumbnail or the title or the description. It's all over the place. It is the Bank of America Cash Awards credit card, and it is a very, very good option to have if you're a beginner to credit, if you're in the intermediate game, or even in the advanced game, because it is so valuable in how it earns cash back, and the fact that it has no annual fee means it costs you nothing no matter how long you keep it. So let's talk about the card, how you earn cash back, the perks, the benefits, all the great stuff, and do a deep dive into some details that might surprise you. First of all, we'll talk about the sign-up bonus on the Bank of America Cash Rewards credit card. As of January 2021, you will earn $200 after spending $1,000 in the first 90 days of card membership. Plus, you receive a 0% APR period for the first 12 months on new purchases. Now, the cashback is where this card is loaded with value. First of all, you'll get a 3% choice category where you can choose from travel, dining, gas, online shopping, drugstores, and home improvement slash furnishings. But I ran out of room on my slide to write furnishings, but know that that is included as well. You'll then earn 2% back at grocery stores, 2% back at wholesale clubs, and 1% back on everything else. Now, do be aware that in the 3% and 2% categories all combined, you'll be able to earn those 3 and 2% on up to $2,500 in combined spend per quarter. I'll also have you know that there is no annual fee on this credit card, so all of the earnings that you get are pure profit in your pocket. And that is sweet. So now let's discuss how you actually select these 3% categories and how often you can change what you selected. You can take your pick from any of those six categories on your online account at bankofamerica.com or using the Bank of America mobile app. The default, if you don't choose anything after getting approved for the card, is gas stations. So you'll earn 3% back on all gas. But you can change this category once per calendar month. And if you don't change it, it stays the same one month after the other. Now the first screenshot that you see on the screen on the left hand side is using the online account method. It shows you all six of those categories. You can click on the blue go to rewards button to walk you through the prompts to make your selection. And then the right hand side image is of the mobile app. So you can click on the change category button and choose whichever one that suits your spending at that time. And that is why this card is so freaking amazing because most cards say you can earn 3 or 2 or 1% back on certain categories year round no matter what you do. But whenever a card decides to give the consumer the power to pick and choose where they spend the most and therefore match that spend with the highest rewards category, that is a huge winner. Now, in case you're wondering when you see travel or online shopping, what does that actually mean with Bank of America? Well, I'm happy to announce that there are a very broad amount of subcategories that fall into the major six. So I'm not going to read all of them because that would probably take 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to show you some quick screenshots of what actually counts in each category, and then you can go ahead and pause the screen whenever you'd like. All right, 3% choice category, what counts for gas? As we go along here, I put in a red border all the subcategories that fall under the main category. So for gas, that's pretty easy to understand. It's automated fuel dispensers uh, and a whole bunch of others as well. So if you own a trucking company or some other thing, uh, for example, uh, liquefied petroleum, wood, uh, marinas, marine service supplies, etc. It's very broad here. So whether it's personal or business in some way, you can pretty much maximize it no matter what. Some examples here are BP, Chevron, ExxonMobil, Shell, and others. For online shopping, this includes bookstores, clothing and apparel stores, department stores, discount stores, electronics, uh, specialty retail stores, sporting goods, and more. Then we've got some specific merchant examples down below that red bordered box, including Amazon.com, uh, Ticketmaster, if you love going to concerts, Apple.com, including iTunes and the online store, Nike, Walmart, Kohl's, Nordstrom, Macy's, Target, all of these stores work. Are you starting to see why this card is so great? 
For dining, this includes eating places, restaurants, fast food restaurants, bars, cocktail lounges, discotheques, nightclubs, taverns, drinking places, and then some merchant examples down there at the bottom, including Chili's, McDonald's, Subway, Chipotle, um, Grubhub, so food delivery apparently counts too, Starbucks, and the list goes on. Those are just examples. Travel has a huge box, and there's no way I'm going to go read all of these for you, but the typical airline, hotels, rental cars, etc. all count, including ride shares and parking and bridges and toll roads. The list goes on from there. You've got amusement parks, carnivals, boat leases, boat rentals, motorhome and recreational vehicle rentals, package tour operators, trailer parks, campgrounds, if you go camping a lot, that also counts. And believe it or not, you've even got fortune tellers. I'm not kidding, it's right there on the screen. Here, I'll even put a big blue arrow pointing it out so that way you know I'm not kidding. Frankly, I can't think of a single credit card on the market that has a travel category that expansive. So whether you're traveling up there by the air or down below in the sea or on the road or camping or going to a fortune teller, you'll be earning 3% cash back. Then there's drug stores, which include pharmacies, other drug proprietors, druggists, sundries, etc. Compounding pharmacies, I bet count as well. Uh, so CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, all of those work just fine. And last up, we have home improvement and furnishings. Also an extremely long list here. So whether you're buying tools or going to um, Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, even things like Williams Sonoma, Crate and Barrel, Pottery Barn, Bed Bath and Beyond, the list is extremely expansive here too. So go ahead and look at these in more detail by pause in the video if you so desire to do so. But it gets even better. Bank of America has this thing called the Preferred Rewards Program, where based on the amount of deposit and or investments that you have with them or Merrill Lynch, you'll actually be able to earn a lot more perks and rewards on your credit cards. Now, the list of benefits that come with the BOA Preferred Rewards Program is extremely long, but boxed in red, I just highlighted the credit card rewards bonus that's relevant to this video. So if you have anywhere from $20,000 up to $49,999 with Bank of America, then you'll be at the gold level, platinum is 50k and above, but below 100k, and then platinum honors is when you have $100,000 or more in deposit accounts or in investment accounts through Merrill. Now you'll notice at the gold level, you'll be able to earn 25% rewards bonus with your Bank of America cashback rewards card and other cards as well. Then if you hit the platinum level, you get 50% more cashback, and then at platinum honors, you'll actually be earning 75% more cashback. Now to make that very clear, I made a small table at the bottom that shows you what the earning power of your card could be if you are enrolled in this program. So with your 3% choice category, rather than that just being 3%, it could be 3.75% at the gold level, 4.5% at the platinum, or 5.25% at platinum honors. Then within the 2% grocery and wholesale categories, that could be 2.5%, 3%, or 3.5% as you go up the tiers, and your 1% category becomes 1 and a quarter, 1 and a half, or 1 and 3 quarters percent cashback on everything else. So if you're sitting on a bunch of cash in one bank or investments in another bank, you might want to consider moving those assets to Bank of America slash Merrill Lynch in order to be eligible for this program, which will make your no-fee cashback card ridiculously powerful. As in, it has the potential to beat out some of the top tier credit cards with four and $500 annual fees. So now that you've been earning tens or hundreds or even thousands of dollars of cashback, how do you redeem them? Well, again, it's a cashback card, so you can redeem for cashback in the form of a statement credit, a deposit to your Bank of America checking or savings account, or you can credit those funds to eligible accounts with Merrill. And if you choose any of those three options on your screen in green, then there's no minimum redemption requirement. And that's huge because a lot of other banks have 12, 25, or $50 minimum redemption requirements to where if you don't have that much, you can't cash out. So with Bank of America, if you've got a penny of cashback, you could actually cash it out if you wanted to, which is nice because there's no thresholds or tiers or anything like that. If you've got money, you can cash it out. And do note that if you're saving up for education expenses coming up with a qualifying 529 account uh, with Merrill, then you do have to have a minimum of $25 to redeem uh, going into those types of accounts. Feel free to pause this screen and read the white text if you are considering depositing into a 529 account. Perks and benefits. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot here. I mean, there's contactless chip technology. You can view your FICO score for free. 
Um, you can add your card to digital mobile wallets and things like that. But there aren't really any major perks or benefits that are extremely lucrative because the card's already extremely lucrative for its cashback rewards. Now, while there's not that much going on in the perk and benefit uh, realm with this card, I do want to point out Bank Amera deals. This is something that you can access in app or online, and it's basically like additional cashback rewards at select merchants that rotate over time. And as you can see on the screen, there's some deals like to earn 15% cashback at Starbucks. 10% back at Under Armour, 5% back at Airbnb, and a whole bunch of others as well. These are usually capped, for example, earn 5 or 10% up to a certain dollar amount, and then they do expire. So you will want to uh, check this portal once you get approved for the card to identify any deals with merchants that may be in line with your spending habits to earn additional cash back. For insurance and protections, there is extended warranty protection, travel accident insurance, and car rental insurance. Unfortunately, Bank of America doesn't really publish much about this, or there might be even some other benefits that I did not include on this slide uh, because I have not been able to find the guide online. It seems like Bank of America only sends the packet of information if you get approved for this card. So if you'd like to get all the small fine print details about these, you're going to have to get the card yourself. And in case any of you find the PDF link to the guide to benefits of this card with the details of those insurance protections, please drop it below in the comments because I'm kind of left in the dark because I don't have the card myself. At least, not yet. A few things that are good to know about this card. It is not ideal to use abroad because there is a foreign transaction fee of 3%. Also, in case it wasn't super clear, you can qualify for the Preferred Rewards program with deposit accounts, that means checking or savings accounts, and or investment accounts with Merrill Lynch. Also note that Bank of America has other credit cards with 3% choice categories, and you can apply for all of them and choose a different choice category on each. More on that coming up. And fourth, having a banking relationship with Bank of America may help you get approved for their credit cards. Not making any claims or guarantees on this, but from the data points that I've seen, Bank of America often favors people who already have a banking relationship when it comes to getting approved for their credit card products. So if you want the cash rewards card or any other other card products and really wanna put the odds of approval in your favor, I recommend opening a checking and or savings account first. Now about those other 3% cashback cards. At the time of making this video, there are six different versions, including the Bank of America Cash Rewards Secured Card, a great option if you're brand new to credit, by the way, the Bank of America Cash Rewards Card, which is featured in this video, then we've got the Susan G. Komen Cash Rewards Visa, the MLB card, World Wildlife Fund card, and US Pride card. All of these six credit cards have the same reward structure, namely, 3% back in a category of your choice, choosing from that list of six different options, 2% back at grocery stores and wholesale clubs, and 1% back everywhere else. None of these cards have any annual fees. Yeah, so imagine this. Over time, let's say you get three or four or all of these cards and choose a different 3% category on each one, or perhaps you have two or three that are the same because remember, you're capped up to $2,500 spent per quarter. And compound that further if you work your way up eventually to the Platinum or Platinum Honors level in the Preferred Awards program. Mind explosion. Should you get this card? Well, yes, if you like cashback rewards, want no annual fee, spend a lot of money in any of those 3% categories, have deposit accounts with Bank of America, or have investment accounts with Merrill Lynch. And you should not consider this card if you prefer travel rewards, namely points and miles that can be transferred to other programs for outsized value. And that's all I could think of, just one situation in which you may not want to consider this card. But since there's no annual fee and it costs you nothing, I gotta say, you might as well get it unless you want chase cards first because of that 524 rule. So if you're pursuing some chase cards first, take care of those, knock them off your list, and then come back to this one for sure later on. And that's that. Wow. If you enjoyed this video and believe it could benefit others, then please help me get it in front of more people by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications. Also, go tell all your friends about this card because it's unbelievable how much cashback you could be earning if it's in your wallet. Also, check out the links that I have posted down below in the description to apply for a new credit card and to get four free stocks from Weeble when you open a new account and deposit $100 into your brokerage account. Let me know which four free stocks you get before this promotion expires. And now we've come once again to the segment of the video where you can make me jealous. Since I don't have the card yet, if you already do, let me know that you do. You can show off in the comments down below.
Like I said, I do plan to get the card at some point, but right now I've got some other priorities. So meanwhile, you can be earning more cash back in certain categories than I can, especially with that online shopping category and fortune tellers. That's awesome. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope it brought you some great value. I'll see you again in future videos. And until then, remember, you are great.